What's up, folks? I'm back with another reaction, back with some more Duran Duran. And we're back for the final tune on the regular part of the Paper Gods album, 2015. I have absolutely love going through this album, and it's funny because I mentioned it in another reaction I did that when I bought the album from Amazon, you know, you just look at some reviews because by this point I was increasingly excited about Duran. I was curious, you know, what Duran fans were saying on that form. Um, and so there were a number of reactions or reviews that were very positive and said, you know, don't listen to the haters, just listen to the album, which that's very much um, good advice, I think, when it comes to music more broadly. Uh, but there were a lot of people who were like, oh, I just don't really feel this album or, you know, I think they're trying to stay relevant by, you know, collaborating with younger artists. Um, but I absolutely love this album. There are a number of tunes that have really struck me strongly. Um, so, yeah, I do uh, want to give a shout out to some of those tunes. Paper Gods, What Are the Chances? Um, uh, what, what should I call it? Uh, you Kill Me With Silence. Um, yeah, honestly, there's been a number of tunes that really struck me, but uh, when I was talking about that in a comment, um, there were a few people who mentioned, like, wait till you get to the universe alone. Um, it seems like this tune is very popular with people. Um, I'm trying to remember, I think it was the person who posted under the name Invisible, he was saying that um, it's a very sort of profound and powerful tune, and he was suggesting that, you know, it speaks to the way in which, you know, all things, not just living things, but all things come to an end. That is the nature of the universe and, you know, sort of physics and chemistry and so on. Um, and that, you know, the best that we can hope for is to, you know, um, make the best of the time we have and then hope that at the cessation of our lives and as, you know, um, things change and break down over time that perhaps, you know, we might be able to see each other again one day. So, um, you know, I sort of have that kind of idea in my head as I go into it. Uh, and I mentioned when I did the reaction to Only in Dreams, which I want to apologize, I posted that video and it, it still, to this very moment, will not show up in the list of videos. And I was so confused and I didn't want to like, you know, oh, man, I did that reaction, no one's going to see it. So then I posted it again. And then I started getting notifications about comments on the first one. I was like, oh, so it did post, but both of the postings are not shown in my list of videos, so I can't delete one now. So, yeah, it's a weird thing. If it happens again, I'll know that, you know, probably the first one did post and just to keep moving on and posting new videos. Um, but that's why there were two versions of that, even though it was the same video. Um, so I blame YouTube. Uh, but yeah, again, a number of you have mentioned this tune, um, and I mentioned when I did the reaction to Only in Dreams that the phrase, universe alone, is interesting because, you know, used in a certain way, the universe refers to everything that is, all of ontology, even, you know, beyond the scope of our current um, instrumentation or theoretical understandings, um, but then alone suggests that it is isolated and that, you know, there might be other connections that it could be making or um, other similar phenomena that it could be part of a larger dynamic with, but it's not. It is alone. It is um, ex excluded from other uh, potential contacts and um, similar entities. So, uh, it's, yeah, it's an interesting contrast to refer to the universe alone. So, um, yeah, that, that struck me sort of on a basic semantic level as being seemingly like an interesting um, tension or contradiction. So without further ado, uh, let's get to it, though now I do remember because this album excellently lists all the credits here, we'll go through that. Uh, the song's written by Taylor, Taylor Rhodes and LeBond, so just the guys in the band. Uh, shout out to uh, the four awesome members right there. Um, and then it says that it was produced by Duran Duran with Josh Blair, a string arrangement by David Rossi and Josh Blair, performed by David. Uh, guitarist John Fruschianti, additional voices, uh, the Voce Chamber Choir and London Youth Chamber Choir. Okay, so we're, we got some extra elements here and some, you know, real, like, kind of choral vocal contributions. Uh, conductor and artistic director, director uh, Susie Digby, uh, CBE, or sorry, CBE, OBE, my apologies. Um, the writing is a bit small, um, but yes, uh, Order of the British Empire, yes. Uh, but choir arranger, uh, Toby Young. So yeah, we're gonna hear some vocals, um, we're gonna hear some cho choral elements, and it sounds like there's enough, you know, extra moving parts in the piece that there's a sort of conductor or director, so it, you know, it speaks to a, like, at least a chamber music feel, if not, you know, an orchestral feel, so, um, we'll have to see how this all manifests, but I am fascinated both by the description that some of you gave in advance and all the sort of parts that we see here, so let's get to it. This is the Universal Loan by Duran Duran on their 2015 album Paper Gods. Though again, I do want to mention, 
Um, a few of you have been sending me either tunes or links to tunes. Um, again, like shout out to Izzy, uh, shout out to Seb, shout out to um, Eli. There's a number of people, um, Philip, a number of people have offered me like access or sent me tunes directly. So we're going to get through everything, uh, and I really do appreciate you all. Uh, but yeah, I do have four of the six um, Paper Gods bonus tracks like already downloaded and ready to go. There's a couple more, and I think through one or the other of you who have um, tried to help me in this regard or have helped me, and you know I'm still going through some of it, but um, yeah, I'm sure we'll do all six eventually. So this is not the end of Paper Gods, uh, but it is the last tune on the regular album. So here we go, The Universe Alone, Duran Duran. Song is like 
pulling on those emotional cords a little. Singularity, like, oh, and it, it seriously, like, it was like a wormhole to transport us to this other dimension where perhaps we'll see each other again. to a lot of classical music. Um, when I was younger, it was mainly symphonic music. Um, as I've gotten older, I've come to appreciate opera and like choral classical music more. Um, so as someone who does listen to a lot of music in that world, um, yeah, that was evoking some of the same feelings um, and joy that comes from listening to some of the very best like operatic choral music. Um, so they certainly um, achieve the sort of emotional um, power to convey the lyrical themes in question. Um, again, maybe um, there are some layers that um, I'm not appreciating fully, um, but I do feel like the overall sentiment of the song I think did come across. I think I was able to pick up on enough lines to sort of understand the you know epistemological and psycho-emotional um, strains that are like coming into um, the sort of um, thematic um, uh, composite. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of that one. Again, I know a number of you commented that it is um, a tune you very much enjoy, and I can see why. Once again, talk about ending an album in a perfect way. Um, they really do seem to have a sense for ending an album in an excellent way, which is funny because, again, there's been a couple times where, like, you know, before the rain, um, I know for a lot of people is what ends their version of All You Need Is Now, um, whereas mine it was Networker Nation, which is a very cool tune. I very much enjoyed that, but I do get why it was like, ah, oh, but it's, you know, not quite as good of an album ending tune, so. Um, yeah, it is interesting where, like, if I didn't know better, I would think, like, okay, it's a, you know, maybe a special edition, but presumably, like, it'll separate um, the other tracks or clearly indicate which are the bonus tracks, but it doesn't. Like, you know, if only for, um, if not for you people, I would not have realized um, that Networker Nation um, was a bonus track that was put on the, on the end of the version I have. Um, so once again, it is, I think, a testament to the way in which Duran clearly knows how to end an album with not only a strong tune, but the right strong tune. So... Um, yeah, once again, shout out to them. Uh, appreciation once again to all of you um, commenting and, you know, supporting, giving me positive comments about, you know, what we're doing on the channel and sort of the group journey and celebration we're all on. So, uh, again, thank you to all of you. Um, you've made this a very enriching experience. You make me just want to keep doing it and even expand what I'm doing. So. Um, yeah, I do appreciate you all, uh, and please do let me know, um, you know, any comments about the lyrics or the sonics and so on. Um, and again, I'm going to not only go through the bonus tracks of this album, but there's a couple albums I've already finished that I'm now going to circle back and do some bonus tracks for. Um, Power Station was supposed to be here today, but apparently it's going to be delivered tomorrow now, so I'm going to start going through that one. A couple of you have given me, um, Izzy and Eli have both sent me links to um, the Devil's material, so we're going to go through. Um, some material, uh, material from Nick and uh, Stephen Tintin Duffy, um, which was like basically, essentially like very early Duran stuff that was then put on an album. I think it's like '02 or something, as as well as some extra tunes. I think they recorded um, later in 20, uh, 2002 or maybe before that, um, but not part of the stuff that was uh, pre Duran. So I think there's a couple different um, types of tunes on the Devil's album. Uh, so yeah, uh, Dark Circles, I believe it's called. Uh, so I'm going to start going through that soon. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Other than that, I will see you next time. Peace.